welcome to the first part of our video and in this uh, video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a base mesh but before proceeding into uh, C brushing uh, I just want to uh, teach you some uh, something that is very important okay so I am currently here in uh, 3ds max and I already uh, created a base mesh so this is the object that we are uh, that we will going to try creating in ZBrush and the reason that we uh, I created a two types of two version of the character is number one uh, let's just focus on the base mesh so we have to create a base mesh first inside ZBrush and use this as a reference to create a lower lower version of our character because if we are going to use this uh, base mesh in an animation uh, the process will be very uh, will going to be very tough because as you can see that this base mesh doesn't have a nice topology in it and uh, this uh it will uh it will be hard to give it a nice deformation on the joints and other parts of the body of the body if we are going to animate this character so that we will just gonna use this as a reference and we are going through the process of retopologizing in which we are going to trace this that's why we were we were able to create this uh uh low resolution version of our character and this object is uh this will be the final object for our character and as you can see that it will be much easier for us to animate this uh object okay so let's now begin c brushing okay so the first time you open your c brush you will see that the light box is always open so let's just close that by clicking the light box and go on to document and let's just double up uh, click this double so that we can have a much wider working space in here and okay uh, before uh, we proceed on uh, 3d sculpting I want to demonstrate to you how to uh, uh, navigate inside ZBrush so that you would you would be able to uh, uh, follow through the process that then we are going to uh, do in the next minutes okay so here in letter s just click that letter s and click cube okay and we have to drag over the our working space just click and drag and don't just release don't release your mouse button just yet okay click and drag and keep on dragging just keep on dragging okay and hold your uh, shift on your keyboard and that makes our uh, object uh, perfectly aligned and straight and you can now release the sh uh, left mouse button and the shift key on your keyboard and click this edit button and that makes us able to navigate on our uh, working space okay so to, to navigate let's just click and drag the left mouse button somewhere somewhere else into the uh, empty space of our working area okay and that makes the objects rotate okay so uh to pan uh to enter into a pan mode hold on to your alt mouse button alt and no no uh, alt key on your keyboard and right mouse button and drag your right mouse button okay so don't just let go for uh, uh for a while so while I'm dragging into a uh, right mouse button, let go of the Alt key on your keyboard, and that would be able as uh, and that makes us object uh, to zoom in and out. Okay. Okay, we are now ready to uh, 3D sculpt inside ZBrush. Okay, let's just create another new document in here and press New, and let's just press this uh, no button okay and to start uh, we have to choose a ge geometry object that is closer to the uh, uh, shape of the head object or this skull so of course we are going to choose the spear and drag 
over the uh, canvas and hold shift on your keyboard so that so that it will uh, set our object uh, straight perfectly straight into the view okay and let's just uh, click the oh, okay, okay sorry sorry after that uh, dragging that object into our space let's just click this edit button so that we can be able to navigate our object okay and after uh, creating that object we are always uh, required re required to click this make poly mesh otherwise we cannot able to do any other types of editing in our object so we have to click this make poly mesh button uh, every time we are creating an object into the uh, working space okay i'm gonna click this make poly mesh button so that we can be able now to 3d sculpt on our object okay let me undo this one first okay and after that let's click this floor button so that we are we can now we can see we are where we are looking at okay and of course to start uh, let's uh, press the letter X on our keyboard and that makes us able to uh, uh, edit our object into a mirror mode so if we are going to uh, if I'm I do a brush if I do brushing and I, and this side it will also happen at the other side okay so let me undo this one okay and let's take a look at the left side of our object here and just hold on to your ship so that it your object will set align perfectly aligned okay so the first brush that we are going to use to establish the basic shape of the skull is let's just click in here and choose move topological brush or you can press the space tab on your uh, keyboard and you can also have you can also access those uh, brush preset in here just click that one and choose your brush preset okay and let's uh, press the hold uh, let's hold on to a sp space tab on our keyboard and we can see here the draw size we can adjust our uh, brush size by sliding this uh, orange bar up okay i think this is just enough okay and let's start pulling this area downward okay sorry uh, let me choose the move topological uh, I just chose a wrong uh, brush so make sure that you are in a brush mode and let's start pulling this area downward okay and shift into a front view and start moving this uh, part area uh, I'm not going to finish the entire character here in ZBrush because it will take for me it will take uh, several hours before I finish the whole character uh, because honestly I'm not a professional ZBrush artist and uh, what expert is that I actually have is 3d modeling inside uh, 3ds max and I'm just going to show you the basics only in the head part of the character so that you can be able to uh, create a full base mesh here in ZBrush right after you finish watching this video okay if you want to make a soft surface just hold on to your shift on your keyboard and gradually uh, do a gradually brushing the surface okay and that makes you uh, soften the surface a bit okay and move it once more using move topological brush
all right and after establishing those uh basic shape for a our uh, head object let's just press shift f on our keyboard and that makes us allow to uh, see the wireframe on our object and uh, as you can see that the wireframe uh, doesn't uh, flow based on the, the shape of our object to fix that let's go on oh, let's go on to into the uh, geometry group and here in z remeasure we have here a z remeasure button let's just click that okay okay and after clicking that let's just click once more okay and that's uh fix everything okay and as you can see now that the uh wireframe uh follows the uh shape of our character okay and let's just uh press shift uh z measure once more okay right okay and after that uh let's hide the wireframe by pressing shift f once more and i am now ready to establish a detail into the face of our character okay uh so let's pay let's do a space tab in our object uh, in our uh, keyboard and choose the standard brush okay and brush over here to uh, create the nose okay and hold on to your alt keyboard so that uh, it will give a reverse effect on our C brush. Okay, and let's start uh, giving a uh, detail into the eyes of the, our character. And hold on your shift on your keyboard and soften the face over here. Okay. And if you want to see the actual look of your object, you have to turn on this perspective view. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to move topological again and move this uh, nose. All right, and Z measure again. Okay, and move topological and adjust this area. Okay. Alright, okay, I think we are now ready to uh, add a more precise detail on this surface, okay, so to do that, uh, let's, I'm gonna use a clay build brush and start brushing the eyes, okay, and as you can see now that we cannot able to uh, put a precise detail in it so let me undo this one Be it's because that we currently have uh, we are currently lacking on the number of uh, surface so let's just press shift F and let's, let's take a look at here in this active points and this object has currently currently has a form Point six thousand numbers of points so ha we have to subdivide this a uh, few more times okay control d and press shift f shift f and we can a we can now able to see that the uh, surface are subdivided subdivided uh, twice okay you can see here that we already subdivided it twice okay you can go back into a lower resolution in here by dragging this orange button okay so let me uh press the uh let's let me sub subdivide this once more control d okay and the active point and, and the active points now is uh went up to the uh 73.8 numbers okay and let's hide the uh save frame but uh save frame okay shift f 
and that's the time we can uh, put a my much precise details on our surface okay so I'm gonna drag a using a clay build brush here okay so if if you find that it doesn't just enough let's just subdivide it once more Control d and hold your shift on your keyboard and brush over the surface to make it uh, much smoother okay and once more uh, i'm gonna drag here to establish the eye bug. Okay, and hold shift on your button and let's put a, some nice blending between this surface and the eye bug. Okay, and after establish the eyes of the character, we are now, we are now ready to create the uh, lips of our character using as well uh, uh, clay build brush okay okay uh, let me save this uh, file first so that uh, uh, I won't lose any editing of any editing that we have done into our object uh, if the errors uh, accidentally uh, takes over our uh, work okay <laughs> okay okay so let's continue in our work and keep on brushing okay let me hide this uh, floor so that it won't us uh, we won't be distracted by that uh, thing Okay, as uh, sometimes you have to just go back into a lower ver uh, lower resolution of your object so that uh, you can uh, edit this, uh, you can edit the surface uh, much easier, okay? Go back to high resolution and smooth that out. Okay. Right. And so let's check at this uh at this side. Okay. And perspective. Using standard brush, I'm gonna slice this at the center. Okay. Okay, and use the uh, clay build brush once more. So I think uh, we need some more uh, we need some more uh, numbers of polygons. So we have to uh, subdivide it up into five and okay, smooth and move it forward just a bit. Okay. 
All right. Okay. And let's uh, put a nose hole already. Using standard brush. Right. And let's go back to clay build brush okay all right and I'm gonna use the move tool once more and make the nose uh, narrower okay okay I'm gonna pull the ice backward Okay, let me do that in the much lower resolution of our character. Okay, and you may want to uh, give a much narrower sizes for the fall shift so that the effect of the brush would be much precise. right and let's check at the subdivision 5 okay and two okay okay so I just I uh, am I'm currently trying to uh, make this uh, figure uh, closer to the to my original work. Okay. Right. Uh, let me undo that one. If every time you use the move topological brush, make sure that uh, uh, avoid using it into a higher resolution of your uh, character because uh, you're gonna uh, create uh, some trouble like this one. Okay, so let me undo that one. Okay, so don't, don't forget to set that into a lower resolution before uh, editing your uh, object using move topological brush. okay so after uh doing a few more edits uh, this is our uh, final result and we are now ready to uh, proceed creating another uh, other ob uh, other objects so i'm gonna just create the ear for our character and i'm going to demonstrate uh, how to attach 
the ear into the surface of our uh, head object and that process will be the same as other as other will be the same at the other uh, body parts of our characters for so for example that uh, after we create all of the other body parts including the arms necks bodies hands legs uh, those processes will be going will be going to be the uh, same okay so let's proceed and create a let's choose uh, geometry object that that is uh, closer to the shape of the ear so to uh, to start with you have to uh, click this up and button and let's choose a geometry object that is closer to the uh, shape of the ears and I'm gonna choose cylinder okay and we can hear we can now see here that in under the sub tool uh, another object uh, the cylinder 3d has been created and we have to highlight this one by clicking this layer so that we can edit uh, we can edit into a right object and avoid uh, uh, editing into a uh, wrong one okay so make sure that you are always in the right layer okay so we have here a move tool scale tool and rotate tool and we are going to use these tools at uh, at this point okay so to use that uh, just click on move tool and uh, hover your mouse at the center and it will instantly uh, snap that move tool at the center of this object click and drag and hold on your hold on your shift on your keyboard so that you can set the move tool uh, straight at the right side okay so I'm I'm gonna explain this uh, uh, each of these uh, parts of this tool okay so you are now seeing a big yellow circles here so the first one if you click and drag that um, big circle in this uh, in here uh, it will let you uh, change the angle of this tool okay and hold onto your ship and set it back to this to its original uh, direction okay okay uh, let's proceed to the second circle the sick the second yellow circle if you click and drag that one uh, it will just able you to uh, drag the entire move tool and place it somewhere else okay so let's uh, go uh, click and drag in here to uh, put it back on the original place okay and the uh, uh, last uh, yellow circle here if you click that it will shift the pivot point of this um, tool into the other side of this uh, line okay so just click that one again uh, to, uh, to put it back into its original place okay and the uh, green circle if you click that one uh, it will instantly uh, set the line into that direction okay the same it's the same with the uh, red circle and the green circle here uh, below okay okay now uh, I'm gonna use this move tool uh, sorry sorry uh, I forgot to uh, explain this uh, other uh, circles which is in the center of this yellow circle if you hover your mouse cursor at the center of those uh, uh, yellow circles uh, you're gonna see a red small circles at the center of it okay so uh, the circle of uh, the circle the red circle in this part if you drag that one uh, you're gonna you're gonna let you uh, scale your uh, object okay so let me undo this one if you drag the uh, red center circle here uh, it will let you move the entire character uh, entire object okay uh, let me undo that one and this uh, circle at the at this part red uh, small circle if you click that one uh, it will slice your uh, object up to this point okay 
let me undo the, uh, let me undo that one and it will slice up your uh object when uh where uh wherever you establish your uh pivot point into the object okay so for example i am going to establish my uh center point in here and if i'm going to click that uh, red circle it will just uh, slice up your object at that point okay let me undo that one again and of course uh, i'm going to uh, just move this entire object at the right beside of our character and let's turn off the perspective button uh, first okay and i'm gonna go use the scale tool and you can see here now that the scale tool has the same feature as the move tool okay so i'm gonna set the pivot point for the scale tool say scale tool here click and drag here and hold on to your shift on your keyboard so that uh, you can uh, place it place your tool uh, straight forward at the left side and i'm gonna drag this uh, circle red circle in here to scale my object down at this uh, point okay and let's go ahead at the left side of our character and use the move tool click and drag and shift and um, drag this uh, cir red circle at the center and hold your shift button to move your uh, uh, object directly straight at this direction okay okay now uh, let's uh, click and drag here and let's click and drag here once more and set your pivot point at this part and hold your shift and let's scale our object using this circle okay and hold your shift on your keyboard okay and let's uh, look up here at the top view and i'm gonna use this uh, rotate tool and set our pivot point in here and click and drag and rotate your object and move tool uh, using the circle red circle at the center to move uh, the entire object all right and then we can now uh, 3d sculpt onto our object let's go back to draw mode once more and let's press shift f on our keyboard and we are now seeing that the uh, wireframe of the object is not following the uh, shape or the figure of this uh, it's not currently following its shape okay uh, to fix that uh, we're gonna go to geometry section and i'm i'm going to click the z measure again okay and that gives our object a nice floor of topology okay and let me undo that one uh, before uh, you click the z measure button uh, we can set a lower uh, lower settings in here so i'm gonna uh, point give it a point two and click the z measure so that we can have a much lower numbers of uh, polygons onto our object okay and we are now ready to uh, soften this object by pressing shift f on our keyboard and gradually brush over the surface okay and make sure that you are currently using the move tool to uh, move topological to move this uh, to give it a shape uh, closer to the shape of uh, of the ear okay let's go back to perspective view so that we can see the actual look of our object all right so we have 
to establish a basic shape for the ear first before uh, giving it some details okay and press shift f on our keyboard and let's see uh, shift f once more and let's click the z measure again okay so i think that's enough and let's soften the surface at the back okay let's click the solo button here so that uh, we can see only this uh, uh we can have a better look at the object alone okay and unclick the solo okay and now we are now ready to subdivide this one and give it a much precise detail uh, i'm gonna uh, subdivide this a uh, couple of times Control d and Control d and shift f and let's just try using this clay build brush okay so before using clay build brush uh, we have to try using the brush that will give okay uh, in flat in flat brush okay uh, it will just uh, expand the surface using that brush okay right and smooth and using the okay uh, move topological brush okay and finally we can now uh, establish some details in it okay so i'm gonna subdivide this once more because as you can see we don't have enough uh, number of topology to create uh, a precise detail Control d and once more Control d and we are now currently uh, in a subdivision of five i just want to edit this into a subdivision of four okay i'm just gonna use a standard brush instead Okay, let's shift into a clay build brush. And let's click the Zeri measure again. And subdivide it once more. Okay, uh, let me undo this one. And let's Zeri measure it for a value of 1. Zeri measure. Okay, so the so that we won't lose too much details on it. Undo once more and let's give it a five and zero measure. Alright. And let's keep on brushing to the surface. And subdivide it once more. Control D.
okay so let's assume that we are uh, we are done editing this uh, ear object and okay I'm just gonna adjust this one into this space okay and we are now ready to mirror this object into the other side of the character so let's go into this geometry section and uh, into modify topology we have here a mirror and well and let's just click that one and it will says that this function cannot be applied to a mesh with multiple subdivision level because we currently has a, a subdivision of two into this object so we have to delete the lower resolution to it delete lower resolution and it will lose our uh, uh, subdivision and that's the time we, we have now used the mirror and weld tool and the result the, the resulting 3d mesh does not contain any polygon operation cancelled if this mirror and weld doesn't work you just have to go to uh, deformation and here in the deformation click this mirror and we'll set your object uh, at the uh, it will uh, put your object at the other side of the object of your character and you can now go back to geometry and in geometry you can now use the mirror and weld button and that makes your uh, uh, object uh, mirror at the other side okay so uh, after you uh, after doing that we are now ready to uh, do the process of uh, dynamesh so using this dynamesh and with this dynamesh button we can be able to uh, combine this uh, all the objects together as one entity so if you have the if you've already finished the next the, the neck the body the legs and the other parts of uh, your character you can use this dynamesh to combine all of these objects into one entity okay so i'm gonna use this uh uh this uh highlight this uh, layer okay so you have to check those uh, eyes on so that you can see all of this object okay and highlight this uh, head object and from there we have here a uh, okay uh, we have a merge button and you have to merge this down down to the ear object merge down and press ok and after uh, merging this, uh, that first uh, that those layers into one uh, let's go into the uh, geometry and click the dynamesh button okay but the problem is uh, it gives us a uh, it gives us this kind of uh, unpleasant uh, result so we have to undo this one okay so before clicking the dynamesh we have to adjust the dynamesh into higher resolution so that we won't lose any of these uh, good details that we have done in our object so i'm gonna give it a 1000 and click the dynamesh and let's just be patient and wait until those uh, process finish okay and after that uh, we are done uh, combining these uh, two object into one but you can see here that we have a sharp edges and we have to fix that first okay so for example we you are we are already uh, attach the other uh, parts of our character including the neck and the rest of the uh, body parts of our character and using this uh, tool uh, clay build brush and while we are in a clay build brush we can now uh, soften those edges uh, you just have to uh, add some layers above it okay using that clay build brush so I'm gonna just brush over here and hold your shift on your keyboard and soften that uh, uh, right after you uh, put
put some additional layers okay and soft then that edges brush hold your shift and brush and add some more layers hold your shift key and brush until you can uh, until you give it a nice blend on the surface All right and of course you just have to hold your on hold on to your shift on your keyboard and soften this edges okay all right so that's uh makes our video complete at this point so uh that's the basic of ZBrushing here inside uh, ZBrush and upon learning this uh, basics you can now be able to create your character on your own and in next video uh, we are going to convert this into a lower resolution inside 3ds Max and I'm going to show you how to import how to export this out of ZBrush and import those uh, file uh, inside uh, 3d studio mouse okay so uh, i think we are now good to we are, not, we are now good in this video and see you in our uh, part two okay uh, thank you